there, this is Renee from Floating Lights and you're watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays. And today I'm gonna to show you how to create a soft, dreamy look. So I received an email the other day from someone who was looking for this effect. And they sent me a couple examples of photos that look like this and uh, they asked if I could do a tutorial on it. And so I thought it was a great idea. So that's what we're gonna be doing here today. And so we're gonna take an image that looks like this and we're gonna kind of give it this soft, dreamy, uh, more editorial-like look. So we'll get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually add a pop. So a color pop, we're going to come down to the bottom of our layers panel. We're gonna select the new layer adjustment icon and we're gonna come up to hue and saturation. And here we're just gonna bump up the saturation just a little bit, maybe 10 or 15%. Um, I don't know if this is percent, but maybe 10 number 10 or number 15. I'm gonna stick with 10 for this photo here. And I'm gonna call this color pop. And now, that's really nice. I'll show you before and after. It's popped this a lot. I like the way it's popped kind of um, the blues up here and her skin is actually quite nice. It hasn't affected it too much. But I don't like uh, all this green. And in the really dreamy look, we want to kind of get rid of some of this green and some of these really bright colors. In editorial pieces, they're not really bright. It's kind of a desaturated look. So to do that, we're gonna come back down to the bottom of our layers panel. We're gonna select the new adjustment icon again. We're even gonna select the new hue and saturation layer adjustment. And this time, we're gonna to come to our properties box and we're gonna select yellows. Now, you may be wondering why we're selecting yellows if we actually wanna get rid of lots of the green. And it's actually because the greens have a lot of yellow in them. So if I show you here and go down to greens, and if I were to desaturate the greens, it would desaturate some of these really dark greens, but it's not desaturating much of these really lighter greens. So I'm going to leave that as is, and I'm gonna select yellows from the drop down list. And here I'm gonna bump down the saturation. So I'm actually gonna bring it down to like minus 30 or so. So it's gone from this really kind of poppy, colorful edit uh, down to something a little uh, more muted or desaturated. So I'm just gonna call this less yellow. And I'm just gonna rename these just so we know what's going on and we can keep track of kind of what, what's happening here as we're editing. So the next thing I wanna do is add a new gradient map. So we're gonna come down again to the bottom of our layers panel here. We'll click the new adjustment layer icon and this time we're gonna select gradient map from the list. And if your gradient map isn't white to black or black to white, you're gonna to wanna to just click on uh, the bar here and you can change that. So there's a couple presets up here so you can select either this one or this one. It doesn't really matter because you can adjust it um, back in the properties box after. So as long as you're on a black to white or a white to black preset, uh, that is what you need to be on. So you're gonna hit okay. Now if you were still on this black to white one and your photo looked like a negative, all you would have to do to change that is click reverse. And then that just switches these two colors around and uh, we're reversed. So this is where we're kind of gonna add the desaturated but kind of contrasty look. And to do that, we just need to change the blend mode of this layer. So we're gonna select soft light. And you can see here that this is, has added kind of this contrasty desaturated look and it's really, it's really quite nice. It's a little bit much for this photo. I'm gonna call this desaturated. So I wanna bring the opacity down a bit. So all I have to do is grab my opacity slider and bring that down, maybe to around 40 or 50%, something like that. It's set to 48 here and that's just fine. So the next thing I wanna do is I actually wanna warm this image. Now this is kind of an optional step. If your image is already really warm, you probably don't need to do this step, but for this image, it's a little bit on the cool side to me, so I do wanna warm it a bit. So I could just come down to the bottom of my layers panel, select the new adjustment layer and select photo filter and warming, but I'm not actually gonna do it that way in this tutorial. I'm gonna come down to gradient map and I'm gonna click on my gradient map again and this time I'm gonna select the fifth preset in, this purple to orange. And I'm gonna hit okay. And now I'm gonna change the blend mode again. So I'm gonna come back down to soft light it's really warmed this up. That is a little bit much. So I'm just gonna call this warming. 
but I'm gonna bring down my opacity a lot, maybe to about 20-ish percent. But you can see here there's before, and then here's the after with the warming, and I really like that. It's even a little bit much, maybe about 20. And that's really nice. So now this is, this is pretty good. If you liked it like this, you could go ahead and leave it. Here's the before. Here's the after. I'm going to show you just a couple other finishing touches that you can make to make this a little bit more dreamy. So you can come back down to the bottom of your layers panel and you can select a curves layer adjustment. And this time we're going to add a matte effect. So the kind of soft dreamy look is a really light matte and to achieve that we're going to select uh, the bottom right hand corner of our graph here and we're just going to drag it straight up. And you can see here the effect it's making on the photo. It's just making it a little lighter and dreamier. So depending on how light and dreamy you want to go, you can drag that up as far as you want. I'm going to go kind of somewhere in the middle here of this first box at the bottom. And then I'm going to drag the right hand side down a little bit as well. And that's just going to flatten out some of the um, highlights too. So this is bringing up the blacks and this is bringing down the whites. And uh, that's how you kind of create this nice matte effect. So one of the things that you lose when you create a matte effect is a little bit of that contrast. It's a little contrasty here and then once we've added this dreamy matte effect we've lost a little bit of that contrast. This actually might be a little bit too much as well, this layer, so I'm going to just bring the opacity of that layer down also. But I don't want to lose the contrast, so to fix that there's so many different ways in Photoshop to add contrast, but I'm going to show you the quickest and the easiest way and that's to come down to the bottom of your layers panel and you're just going to select brightness and contrast from the list. And here you can just bump up your contrast. So on your contrast slider you're just going to bring that up a little bit and that's just going to bring some more contrast back into your photo. Call this contrast. And this one showed up at the bottom of my layers list because I actually had clicked on background before I added the new adjustment layer. So I actually kind of want it to be at the top, so I'm just going to drag it to the top of my layers list. Now finally, one other thing uh, to keep in mind with editorial style or dreamy photos like this is that often they're a little bit on the overexposed side. I wouldn't say they are overexposed, but the whites are a lot wider and they're a lot lighter than, than most photos. So to change that, all I would do is come down to the bottom of my layers panel. I'm going to select a curves adjustment layer and then I would just bring up the middle of this graph and uh, brighten the photo a bit. So I'm just going to call this Brighten. And that's a little bit too much actually. So I'm going to come and adjust my opacity down. Um, but something around there is good. Now with matte effects, it's really important to note that uh, sometimes it's not so nice on skin. So what I would probably do now is make sure I'm on the matte effect layer. And because my layer mask is white, I'm going to come over and select a black brush from my toolbar. So I'm going to select the brush tool come down here and make sure that my foreground color is set to black, which it is. I'm going to use a really soft brush, so my hardness is set to 0%. Um, and my opacity, I'm going to bump it down a little bit, maybe around 79. And then I'm just going to resize my brush, and I'm doing this by hitting the left bracket key on my keyboard to make it smaller. You could also hit the right bracket key on your keyboard to make your brush bigger if you needed to. But I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, and then I'm just going to brush the matte effect off of her skin. Now if you liked the matte effect everywhere on the photo then by all means leave it but for me matte effects are a little bit too much on skin. So that is a before and after of uh, the dreamy editorial like edit. So here is the before and here is the after. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have an idea for a video that you'd like to see done, please email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can come on over to Facebook and find me there at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.